All right, welcome back. Day zero, Casey and I and Ethan are headed out to Matt's Off-Road Recovery official record games in Hurricane, Utah. Uh, we'll have a video eventually of the um, 406 Garage Ultimate Service Truck build, which is right there on the trailer. We are taking that as a sport vehicle with Casey's truck down to Hurricane, Utah for this event. So you will see a whole bunch more of this. Casey is filming and has his fancy filming guy, Ethan. So I am just along for the, I don't even know what I'm here for, just for fun, I guess. So what you guys are gonna see is the behind the scenes stuff. So I'm gonna try and capture the behind the scenes stuff when they're doing antics and things like that. And Ethan's gonna capture all the really important stuff because that's, you know, the big, the big, big channel Casey's big channel and I mean my little channel so they got to keep the big channel your growing channel, your channel might get a little bigger if you actually post some videos yeah yeah so we're working on getting more videos <laughs> so the channel gets bigger like Casey said so anyway there's the truck there's the trailer there's Casey's truck there's all the boys and uh, we're luckily off on a beautiful sunny day I'd say you could see the mountains from here but it's hard with the trees and all the trucks so I will bring you guys as much information and as much footage as I can for the behind the scenes, but I'm going to be very busy doing stuff at this event. So you guys will get what you get and hopefully you enjoy it. All right, first fuel stop. Uh, everything's good. We did one stop for chains and binders, checked all that stuff, everything's good there. We definitely found some snow. I'm hoping this is some of the last snow we see because uh, yeah, I don't, it's not fun towing a trailer in the snow. Everything's doing good with the service truck. Chains and binders are good. Everything's locked down. Got pretty good ton weight on it today so that uh, this truck has a little bit better traction. This is Casey's truck. So, yeah, we're going to go in and get some food and some snacks and uh, fill up with diesel and keep on trucking and we'll see you at the next stop. All right, this. This is the world headquarters of Yankum Ropes in Burley, Idaho. So gonna take you guys inside here. We're gonna go for a little visit. Go talk to our friends here that uh, support us and uh, see what's on tap. like they have all these ropes they have all the shackles two and a half by 20. the real mvp in this building is this cardboard box that is still holding together yes <laughs> these are all the tree straps tree savers slings soft shackles rope covers got everything this is like a candy store for recovery gear Black shackles, silver ones, small ones, big ones. <laughs> and we're gonna do a bunch more tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't think I don't think there's anything that shouldn't be on camera. Okay. Top secret. I think all the top okay. secret stuff's up in my office. All you have to do is okay. say well, something and we can this? edit it out. <laughs> no. I'll lock that door. Yeah. yeah. Lock it. That was locked. All right, ben, you better ambush that office before we we find out what kind of. I don't want to start the going. trip off on that foot. Uh, oh, shoot. Well. Gonna see how the ropes are done. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so this, this right here, this is the shipping and receiving department. Um, this is where everything gets picked and pulled, put in the boxes. Jenna sends it out the door. And uh, we've just completely overhauled all of this thing. So we're gonna just put a little baby one. A little guy. A little guy. <laughs> ATV. This is the oh, store. I could, I could mess wow. this up so bad, so fast. Oh yeah. Wow. You gotta watch your elbows. I mean, you can you can snag one of those pretty fast. Well, look how tiny these are. I know. Yeah. So this 
So in each one of these little guys, it looks like dental floss, right? I'm putting my hands in my pockets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get one little snag, then you walk. Yeah. You can you can drive home and it'll still be on the spool. <laughs> like, how, how many feet are on a brand new roll? I I don't know. Um, we get various sizes, so we get kind of. I can ruin an entire stuff. business right now. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> like razor blade. You, well, you make somebody's day pretty messed up. Yeah. So they'll fix yeah. it. So here's what's crazy in this. There's, that's not one fiber, that's 68 tiny little filament fibers. And each one that, to make that one rope. Yeah. That one so tiny. So in, in there, there's 68 filament fibers. Each one of those is like, they're smaller than a human hair. Tiny, itty and bitty. how many of these that is 68 go into one rope? Oh, good question. I got, I, I can't remember. Let me, <laughs> let me, let me just show you. Line. Listen. It, it's, a big, it's a big number, he's got a lot of <laughs> Exactly. Okay. So what we do is we, we take all of this and we make the yarn. Okay. We have it set up, so I'll just go ahead and show you. But it goes into like a ribbon, it looks uh -huh. like. We're, I'm even gonna show you how we how we do the machine. So this machine, you guys watch Sleep Beauty? No. I mean, you got little kids. You got a little girl. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. So I, I, mean, I will I'd like to admit. So, so you okay, should. So there's that thing that she pricks her finger on, falls asleep. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. okay I know right. what you're talking about. They probably do, so we'll just keep rolling. Right. With it. So this, this is just really advanced twisting machine. That's what it does. It Thimble? spins. The, the it's, a, it's a giant twizzler making machine. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a bunch of those fibers and we're gonna put this in. So right now this is geared to do the three quarter inch. Um, core yarn so there's two different diameters of yarn and then you have to do opposing twists so we actually we have to make four of these in order to make any rope it's kind of cool i'll just show you so kind of fun to watch get in here. Your shotgun. always Did, did you get permission from the guy who runs us every day to actually do this? Or are you going to get in I trouble did. when he I gets got, back tomorrow I, morning? I probably, I'm probably going to get in a lot of trouble. So, all right. So what we're going to do, I just want you guys to see, it's kind of fun to watch, but what this thing does is it spins. Yeah, it's automatic doors? Yeah, I don't know why it has a handle on there. It's making that. It's making the yarn. So that's the yarn that goes so to the So it rolls it one way and then the other wow. back over it? Well, yeah, so it, I mean, that's just how it gets it on there so it doesn't slip off or fall off. The stuff is really slippery, you know, so. Anyways, then after that, then what we do is we put it on the braider bobbins. Braider bobbins. The braider bobbins. Ooh, I need to go turn on the light all the yarn off of these spools. Oh, that holds it. Yeah, these are actually leggings. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies' leggings. And so, anyways, but yeah, those, those will just spin, and what they're doing is we're putting them on the braider bobbins, and the braider bobbins are what go in the braiding machines. And that's, that's the fun part. But this is the part you would totally screw up if you tried to run this machine by yourself? Well, okay, he's, we're in the process of going from one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> just say yes and move leave on. It, yes. Leave it to the there professionals, is what he's saying. Yeah. I got a guy for that. So this machine is the core braiding machine. I can't turn it on because I don't have core yarn to go in it, but I can show it to you. It's pretty cool. So this, this is where we braid the inside of the I saw this one run last time I was here. You had yeah, this basically. machine set up, yep. and I saw it goes forward, and you can unwind. This, so this is a crazy thing. He did. He ran the machine and made rope. And then he put it in reverse and it undid the rope and put it back on the spools. And I that, like blew my mind that that was like a possibility. But I can only go in reverse for about half of a rotation, which is about three inches. I, it was and still it, super cool. It is cool. It is cool. But if I go any farther than that, then it just turns into a giant knot. You know what a good <laughs> video that would make? 
Oh, it would be making a really great movie. <laughs> You'd see like, a very... It sounds like me trying to learn how to run a bait caster. Uh, this is the fun machine. I can turn this one on. So this is the core to the rope? Yeah, that's the core to the 17th inch rope. So this came, all of this came out of there. And you see what that is. You'll notice that this is a little bit larger weave with thicker yarn. So it's thicker yarn in the in the core and thinner yarn in the jacket. We the other thing too, we, we have more mass in the core, and the reason for that is this rope is engineered to fail from the outside in. You want the rope to start popping the yarn in the jacket. So you see the failure so before the, the failure happens where you can't see and then right. catastrophic fails with right. no warning. You want you want the rope to fail from the outside in. And using the smaller yarn does that as well too. There's less, a little bit less mass in the jacket. So a little bit more of the load. It's, it's not quite a 60-40, but it's a similar. If it starts to pull apart, you can see it. Yeah, you visually, can, you can visually before see it's it a happen. surprise. Yeah, you don't want the core to fail on the inside of the rope and not know what's going on. So, anyways, the this is the jacket braiding machine, and that forward reverse thing. I'll show you. Let's see if I can get it to turn on. You twist the off button right there. Twist Big it. one. You yeah, twist it. Things. There you go. Oh, you, <laughs> you got a button. Uh, look, at that. look at the braid happening up there. So this is running slow. You have a slow feature in here so that then you can change out the bobbins as you need to. Hotel life, 4.30 in the morning. That's what it's like when you're traveling with the famous YouTuber. And no, I'm not the famous YouTuber. Casey is. All right, so here we go. All the door locks. I don't know which way to go. Oh, here we go. Down the elevator. So, we are headed to meet Alan at Yankum Ropes. We are gonna caravan with them down to Hurricane today. And uh, it's 4.30 in the morning. So, I'm a little tired. I'm the old guy in the group. So, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a little challenging. I don't mind. So, today we are going to get to Hurricane and I'm going to be able to show you guys a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, we're going to Brian, uh, my friend, drivelinetech.com, and he's got the drive lines built for the uh, Ultimate International Service Truck. So, we're going to get those in when we get there and get the truck ready and then driving. Take you guys for a ride, and then we're going over to Matt's off-road recovery after that for a big meeting before this event starts. So, I'll take you guys along for the ride. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Good. Grab and grow breakfast. Yes. One's blue, one's green. What's the difference? No difference. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. So the truck is running, the back is open, which is Casey's way of saying, you're late. But you know what? I'm the old guy, doing the best I can. You can see, it's 4.30, pitch black outside. I knew you'd be filming. <laughs> I just got the jump on it because Casey has always got the camera on me. So today I got the camera on him. Yeah, I saw my two sets of camera. Oh, now it's dark. Uh, oh, there you are. I'm very tired. You ready to do the exact same thing all over again? Absolutely. You know, the best part is this time, instead of going to bed, I stayed up till midnight editing the video. <laughs> well, like I said to the folks earlier, it's rough on the road with a famous YouTuber because oh, yeah. I'm not him. He is. So we're doing famous YouTuber stuff now. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> All right. Like I said earlier, it's dark because it's 4.30 in the morning. 
Actually, it's like five now. We're all hooked up again here at Yankum Ropes, and uh, Alan is going to hook up his Land Cruiser on the trailer, and we are going to caravan southbound and down. It's cold. It's 20 degrees out. Alan loaded this up last night after we went home. 